can see your old thing can't. And the answer is a yes. I am Jewish. <laughs> but I'm not just any kind of Jew. I'm a bad Jew. <laughs> see, some of us are born bad Jews. Some of us achieve badness. And some of us have the title of bad Jew thrust upon us. For me, it was by someone on Twitter. You see, I belong to this little lefty organization um, called Judas. It's like Judas, as in Iscariot, or the Lady Gaga song. Um, <laughs> but with J-E-W at the beginning, Judas. Yeah. See what we did there? <laughs> Classic Jewish humor. And we weren't, you know, really the subject of media attention. We were kind of underground hipster Jews. Um, until we started hanging out with a guy called Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Apparently he's a bit controversial. Personally, I think he's got some good ideas. I think he's a real mensch. The absolute boy, as I like to call him. Um, but yeah, um, apparently a bit controversial. And um, because, well, if history has taught us anything, it's every time a guy with the initials JC starts hanging out with a bunch of radical Jews, it's gonna go down. <laughs> uh, so because he came to our Passover event, apparently we're all bad Jews by association. Like, that, that was it. Like, all we really did was say fuck capitalism to a beetroot. Like, we didn't even throw any muzzle cold cocktails. And like, okay, here's the thing. I have nothing against being called a bad Jew. Please buy me dinner first. Like, it, it can be pork. Like, I, I don't have pork. I'm a bad Jew. But hypothetically, you know, if, if you know, you did want to call me a bad Jew. You know, you could take me out to dinner, you know, walk me home, maybe I'd invite you in. Then, then you could call me a bad Jew. Then chain me to my bed and punish me for never learning Hebrew. <laughs> Pull my hair and fat me until I admit that I don't really like pickles. And actually, Barbara Streisand was very self-indulgent and gentle. <laughs> also, Phantom of the Opera, way better than Fiddler on the, on the Roof. Yes, I went there. <laughs> my people have suffered for thousands of years. Fuck me, will you do it? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's a while since I've been called a bad Jew. Like, I've been single for a few months now, and to be honest, the only, only BDSM in my life is the boycott, divestments, and sanctions movement. <laughs> like, if my sex life was a mean girl's quote, it would be none for Gretchen Wieners. <laughs> or, more accurately, no Wieners for Gretchen. <laughs> and, like... I'm going to go a bit off the cuff here because I've, I've made a startling revelation this evening. I'm not the only Jutistic in this room. <laughs> like, how cool is that? That is the most niche category, not the most niche category, but like, okay, so I'm Jewish, I'm autistic, I'm also queer, so the badges, and I'm uh, like super lefty, so I'm everything the Nazis hate. <laughs> Literally, if I don't look this fucking good in my underwear, I'm dead right now. <laughs> and um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and maybe end it with this, with my kind of fun autistic story. So yeah, I'm autistic, and um, it's, it's it's a weird time. I I don't really know how to do social stuff. Um, like I get on stage and talk about being a bad Jew in my underwear in front of strangers, or <laughs> shit like that. Um, one this one time, I I kind of. Accidentally broke into the National Autistic Society <laughs> because, and hear me out, okay? I thought it was a special society, especially for me, like a little club where we could sit around and drink cocktails, and not like a charity, as I found out later. <laughs> anyway, I've been Evie Brill. I'm a bad Jew. Thank you and good night. <laughs>